Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I did this Carvajot look. Everything came out so perfect. Look at the green eyeshadow matching my sari. And I also felt my earrings and my jewelry was matching perfectly with everything. So without any delay, let's get into how I did this makeup. So first off, I'll be starting by prepping my skin. I always like to do this before any special occasion. Here I'm using the animal's sheet mask. It's called the Llama Purifying Sheet Mask. And I'm just going to be putting it, as per the instructions, on my face and just relaxing my skin, relaxing myself, keeping it on for about, I'd say, 10, 15, if you have more, 20 minutes. After about 10-15 minutes, I'm going to take off the sheet mask and if there is any leftover serum on my face, I will just massage it, I will not wipe it off. Next I'm applying Wet n Wild's lip mask or lip balm to moisturize my lips to be ready for any lipstick application so to prime and moisturize my skin I'm using the Alme CC luminous primer it is SPF 15 I personally don't like this a lot because you'll see it kind of is leaving a white residue on my face and with sunscreens it's it happens a lot of times but it's okay if you blend it in and leave it on for some time, it will go away, so I'm fine. So next I am going to tweeze my eyebrows. If there is any extra hair around my eyebrows that need to be taken out, it kind of gives the makeup a more flawless look. So after I'm done tweezing my eyebrows, I will go ahead and shape my brows. I will be using Ardell Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. So to shape your brows, you need to use the brush side and brush it up and then fill any gaps in and then brush it down and fill any gaps. For color correction, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal orange corrector I'm applying it on my dark circles and any other hyperpigmentation or dark spots on my face and leaving it in for some time and just dabbing it in and blending it I really like color correcting a lot next to conceal for my eyeshadow I will be using Colourpop's pretty fresh hyaluronic concealer and applying it on my lid so that it gives me a base for my eyeshadow. Filling your lids with concealer is so much fun. It feels like painting your eyes. To set this up now, I will be using Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Banana Powder. For eyeshadow, today I will be using Wet n Wild's Not A Basic Peach Palette and I will be starting with the transition shade, the lightest one on the palette and building it up on my crease. Then I'm going up with the darker shade and building it again on my crease. And then instead of using a black eyeliner, I'm using the darkest shade on the palette and lining my eyes with that because there's a lot of brown on my sari and then with the same shade I'm packing it up in the inner corner of my eyes and outer third and then blending it in. Once I blended that in I cut my crease in the middle to pack the green shade for that I'm using just my luck palette from Colourpop and in the shade Olive U and instead of using a brush I'm just using my finger and patting the shadow 
where I concealed. It really gives a good pigmentation with just your fingers if you need to pack a shade. And then I went off camera and applied my false lashes. For filling my pores, I'll be using NYX Pore Filler. This is really nice and creamy and it gives a good coverage. For foundation, today I will be using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Classic Beige and MAC Studio Fix in the shade C5. I'll mix these two and apply it all over my face. To blend the foundation in, I'm using a damp sponge and I'm dabbing the foundation onto my skin and not dragging it. This is very important that you never drag your foundation. Once I'm completely satisfied with my foundation and it all looks good, I will go ahead and use my concealer under my eyes. For that, I'm using Maybelline Instant Page Divine Concealer in the shade Light Honey. I'll apply that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and any other areas where I feel concealing is needed. Blending that in with the same damp sponge, but from the more pointed side. And then I will be setting the concealer with some loose powder. For contouring today, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's contour stick and just applying that on any high points of my face and contouring my cheekbones. Cheek. So for under my eyes, I'm going to be using the same shades which I used on my lids. The dark shade on the outer corner and then the shimmery shade, the green shade from Colourpop in the middle of the eyes. For highlighting, I'm using ELF's Shimmer Highlighting Powder and I really love this because it's very affordable drugstore highlighter. And then to set my makeup, I'm just using a setting spray. You can basically use any brand you like. For my lips today, I have used Milani's Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade Spice. I always like to go with lining my lips from the outside and then going in the inside. For lipstick, I have used Wet n Wild's Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. This is a very pretty shade and it goes perfectly with my outfit today. So this completes my look today and I went ahead and dressed myself up, did my hair, wore my jewelry and this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I really loved it. The colors and everything, it was so pretty and different.
Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.